guys, it's Tamika. I am here to let you guys know about this quick giveaway sponsored by Arteza. All of the information to be eligible to win is in this video and in the description box. So be sure to check that out. There is also a 10% off code. The link will be in the description box if you guys are interested in ordering any of the pro products that I mentioned in this video. Again, it is sponsored by Arteza. So thank you so much for this awesome giveaway. Also not shown in the video is this cute cup that I made for Kyla. Super cute little mug. She can drink her hot cocoa in. So I really had a fun time playing with these glitters. So I do hope you guys will try it. Guys, I think that is the end of everything that I forgot. If I did forget anything, please check the rules in the description box. This video is the only video that you are allowed to participate in, but there'll be more glitter projects to come. I will see you guys next time. Let's get into the project. All right, here are the felt fabric sheets. These are 50 sheets of premium felt stiff fabric in the size of 12 inch by 14 inch and here are the colors really pretty bright colors um, metallic golds silvers all of the colors of the rainbow there's some fluorescent and some glitter so I'll link this down below if you guys are interested in purchasing these um, felt this felt fabric I thought it was a challenge to work with this because I don't often work with felt but I've been coming up with some ideas that I think I want to try so I will definitely be showing you projects using this felt so off the top you have your neon colors really cute summer colors then you have the uh, glitter sheets red black purple and white glitter fabric really really cute you have your silver and your gold felt fabric now this would be cute as a clutch sew that up and make yourself a little clutch okay and then we have the arrangement of the felt and these are um, quite firm pieces so you have all these beautiful colors really really cute oh that's a cute pink powder powder pink or baby pink I really like this gray with this texture in it. I made a, a doll um, jacket out of uh, felt like this. Really cute. And of course, look at all these gorgeous colors. So, um, like I said, I have a little uh, Pinterest board of things that I wanted to create using this. When um, Arteza contacted me, I was like, hmm, what can I make with that? So I did decide to take the challenge and we'll see what we come up with. So I have a couple of cool ideas that I will show you guys in the next set of videos. So if you're interested in purchasing this, then check the link down below in the description box. The next item they sent was this package of 54 glitter jars, premium, extra fine glitter, super cute colors, guys. Like, let me show you the back. So that's how it comes. But let me show you all the colors that's in there. It's some, um, there's this whole roll is holographic. And then there's a glow in the dark. There's more holographic, holographic, silver, orange, pink, gold, blue, turquoise, really cute. There's some neon pinks and oranges um there's of course your golds your silvers um all of your beautiful color arrangements on your glitter and again when i decided to say yeah i will go ahead and work with these products i was like okay i'm not a really huge glitter fan but i think i can push myself and do something creative with that so i have been wanting so i will i i have i have like five ideas that i'm like okay i'm ready to play with the glitter okay so so much so much glitter options like i was like okay okay glitter come through so anyway i love the challenge so um also um i have been wanting to make some um specialized mugs so you know i make the mugs with the vinyl and i coat the tiles um the tiles um get it out Tamika I coat the tiles with the vinyl and then put epoxy on the top those coasters and make coasters I'll put the links in the description box to the videos of things that I made with the vinyl or the epoxy resin but what I've been wanting to do is personalize okay personalize a little mug for me I see them everywhere I even watch the videos start to finish like I'm really gonna go make this stuff so I came up with the idea that I am going to make myself a personalized coffee mug because I drink coffee y'all know I love coffee people at work know I love coffee so why not have my very own personalized mug so we'll see how this goes so there are tons of tutorials on um, YouTube as how you can make your own um, spin thing uh, turner mug turner like you can get 
You can do the hang method and you get like a little uh, football. These come from the dollar stories, little plushy footballs. Put it on a piece of block with a dowel, stick a hole through this, and then just hang your cup over the top of it. Super cool idea. So I am going to make one. That's why I have the stuff to make it. And I have the dowel and I have the piece of wood. I had that already because, you know, I works with wood. Um, but I just had to get this. So I'm going to make one so that way I can make more than one at a time. Because the turner that I have, um, it only makes one. So um, at any rate, I am going to be, if you're listening at this point in the video, you will know I'm going to be giving away one of these sets. So it's for U.S. only. I am so sorry for my international folks. I'm so, so, so sorry. But um, Arteza has offered to give away a set of these glitter jars. So, and it's, they're only shipping to the U.S., so um, one person will be eligible to win. Well, everybody's eligible to win, but one person is going to win one of these glitter jars. So you do have to be a subscriber to get one of these. Jars. Don't just be popping up out of nowhere like, hey, girl, I've been following you for 15 years. Mm -hmm, what's your name? Anyway, you do have to be a subscriber um, to my channel to uh, be eligible to win one of these jars. So let me just open it up and show y'all like seriously little um foam sheet there all these beautiful colors so you do have to um you do have to pull these out in order to see i mean you can kind of see from the side what color you want but you do have to pull them out and see what you want i think i'm going to see if scrapbook.com has one of the little sets that i have my um stickles in and see if there's another one that i can put the glitter on so anyway look at this it's solar gold champagne gold a little bit more vibrant or lighter look at this neon orange oh my goodness this neon pink some super cute fun colors um we got snow white this hot neon hot pink here's a chocolate really just cute come in these little jars shaker jars so neon mint really cute so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put this up for the second so i can show you guys um some other objects objects other things that we're gonna need to make this mug okay i got distracted so yeah let's go so you're gonna need some mod podge okay this is this is well loved mod podge but um you're gonna need some mod podge okay and um you're going to need some clear casting resin. So you can get this off of Amazon. You can get it from Michaels. I'm not sure if Walmart carries it, but you guys are familiar with this. This is a two-part um, resin, so you'll need that. Um, I, I'm doing the tumbler first. I'm going to do some other glitter projects, but I want to get started on this tumbler because when you use that thing, you got to let it spin for some hours in order for it to set. So I want to make sure I get this part done. work on other projects. So you're going to need that. And then, of course, you're going to need your glitter and then I have some wipes and some vinyl gloves that all came from the Dollar Tree. I'm also going to use this tarp and that's going to be at the bottom of my work service. And the spinner, I don't know if I mentioned that already. I got it off Amazon. It's sitting over off to the side, so I'm not able to bring it. But I'll post, I'll put a picture up so you guys can see what I got. It's like $30, really cheap. You can make them online um, and and there's a lot of tutorials that you can make your own using the little foam ball um so um i am going to make one this comes from the dollar tree all you need is a dowel and a piece of wooden block or so whatever you want to use the hang and the uh lock type method so you you want to get a ball um and this fits inside your your mug or whatever it is you're glittering um and you can just do it with the epoxy you don't even need a spinner so there are some tutorials that you can follow to do that but again, I'm going to make another one. So I, when I make more of these, I because I'm getting my money's worth, honey. So <laughs> I'm going to be making more than one at a time. Because the spinner that I got is only one mug at a time. So I have this uh, little um, holiday. This came in, this was in during Christmas time. You might, guys remember these little coffee mugs? You can decorate them or paint them or whatever. They were in the Art Minds collection at Michael's. It was $2. I think I got mine even on clearance, uh, even more than that. But um, so I have this mug. I also have this tumbler and this came from the Dollar Tree. It's a coffee tumbler. So I might make me one and then make Kyla one. I'm not sure, but we will see. So these are all the things that I'm going to use. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to record again because 
I don't know if I'll be able to bring that over here, but we'll see. Um, and uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and, and get started. So either I'm going to show you how the process goes or I'm going to come back with a cup. Either way. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in a bit. All right. A couple other things that I um, forgot to mention is I'm going to use some advi some uh, vinyl. Some <laughs> vinyl. And you guys know I've been using this in quite a few projects lately. It was a haul um, on a clearance at uh, Hobby Lobby. This is black. I also did a haul a while ago with... Um, this is Tuesday morning and it's heat transfer vinyl. It's the only color that I have in gold. It's a really pretty gold glitter, um, more of that lighter glitter. And then I have this Cricut vinyl that was on sale at uh, Michael's a while ago when they were clearancing out or clearancing out a bunch of their Cricut stuff. So this is a um, gold glitter iron on. So not sure I'll cross that bridge when I get there, but I'll be using one of these to personalize Shea Tamika on there. Well, Tamika. And then I'm also going to try to incorporate these sequin um, heart little ones. These came from the Target dollar spot, I believe, um, during like a while ago, Valentine or Christmas. So I want to try to match that. So that's why I think I'm going to go with this one because it matches that a little better. I'm not sure. And then I've chosen these colors. Like, girl, this neon pink is so cute. And then I have Snow White. And then I have the Solar Gold. So we'll see how that goes. So I wanted to come back and show you guys these items as well. All right, so I'm going to start out with this Dollar Tree mug um, first. And the first thing that I'm going to do is tape off this bottom and top part because I don't want to get any, I don't want to get any uh, epoxy or glitter on this bottom part. So first, let me just see if it comes off. Nope, it doesn't. So yeah, I'm going to tape it off. And I'm going to be very careful just to cover the black pieces. And I'm going to tape off the bottom and the top. All right. I'm also going to be very careful when I'm putting the glitter and the epoxy on there and all that to not get it on the silver as well. So I've decided that I don't want um, I don't want this silver background. I want it to be start out with a, a whiter background since I'm going to have the middle of this be white. So I'm going to paint this first and then let it dry. Then I'll come back and do the Mod Podge and the glitter. Okay, so we're moving to plan F at this point. Um, I am out of white acrylic paint or white spray paint. I have black. I have copper, I have satin, champagne satin, I have aqua, I have silver glitter, I have a brown, I have espresso, I don't have any white. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Huh. And I'm not about to get in a car and drive to Walmart and go get it. It's, it's no, too much. So, and this is going to be under epoxy anyway, so it's okay. I was contemplating painting the champagne, um, but... I don't know how that's going to affect the, the other pink glitter, the other glitter that I want to use. And I don't have a lot of each color. So I need to start out with a base that um, can enhance the already, um, enhance the glitter colors that I'm using. So I'm going to paint it with this folk art chalk paint. And then I'm going to let it dry. And then I'm going to sand it down so it can be nice and smooth. And then I will add the glitter. I know you're thinking, why didn't you just paint the white cup? And I'm doing that one. I want to use this one for me. So if I do that cup, I'm going to make that for Kyla. And I want it to be smaller. I want to have this super huge coffee cup. So I'm going to paint this. And then I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to sand it down. And yeah. So, so much for plans. You know, always, always plan for another option just in case. But I can't believe I am out of spray paint. But Anyway, this dries fast. I'm going to let it let it dry, and then I'm going to sand it with some sandpaper. The sandpaper sheets that I got, I had already because I was doing the crate paper. I mean, the crate projects with popsicle sticks. So I got those from the Dollar Tree. So it's not going to be a problem to sand this down. Make sure that it's as smooth as possible. Um, even though the epoxy is going over it, you just want to try to get it as smooth as you can. So anyway, I'm going to do this, and I'll be back with the next step. 
all right i'm all done i've done two coats of the chalk paint and it's quite smooth and then i um mentioned that i had the sandpaper sheets from the dollar tree so these are all nice and smooth and it's a nice white background so gr good substitution for the spray paint um because it's dried super fast so the next thing that i'm going to use is this uh spray adhesive and that's what's going to go on um, with my glitter I was going to use the Mod Podge but I'm going to use the spray adhesive instead it's not a whole lot left in here but this is the same brand and this is general purpose and this is like high performance I use this a lot so obviously almost gone so I'm going to um, spray on here let it sit for a you know a minute or so and then I'm going to um, get my glitters on here and I'll be back all right this is how she's looking <laughs> it's so cute i love the stray little hearts i could flick them off but i you know i drug them down a little bit just so we can you know drain anyway i am going to go um spray this with some glue sealer i mean some glitter sealer I'll, I'll, obviously i'm leaking so um so all this can stay how i want it i did two passes i thought about doing three but i i like how this is so i think i'm gonna put my um, name right here in this white space here. It's super sticky. My fingers are sticking to the masking tape. So anyway, I'm going to go seal this. I love the layers and I'll be back um, in a minute. Not a minute. I'm lying. But I'll be Alright guys, so my tumbler is all done as far as um, the glitter spray. Um, I put some clear matte coat on top of it so that the glitter can stay where it needs to stay while I do the epoxy. So I'm going to get my gloves, get my mix together, and I'm going to start to roll this. So maybe by the time you come back, it'll be after the first coat or it'll be done. So we're almost there, guys. All right, really quick, I wanted to show you guys the how to mix this. I know that there's tons of tutorials on this already, but since we're already here, um, might as well just do it. So it's a part A and a part B, and it's a clear coat, obviously. So you want to do equal parts, one to one. And then they do come with the stick, popsicle stick, and then the measuring cups. Don't come with the gloves. So I'm going to put, I, I, I know I'm not going to do a lot. I'm not going to need a lot at once. I'm just going to do probably half of this, which is about 15 milliliters of part A. Because I know I'm going to do several coats, um, one or two coats, or at least two coats rather. We'll see how it happens after that and then we're going to do the same thing for part b it's 15 milliliters and then the trick with this is you want to um mix them in together and then you want to mix slow 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 um, because you don't want it to be bubbly although if you do get it bubbly you can you know kind of grab your your heat tool and kind of coach it along that way as well so i want to get all of my resin out so i'm just going to scoop it out with this little popsicle stick and then i'm going to start to mix and again you want to mix this slowly until it reaches it's going to be a little cloudy right now but you want to mix it slowly until it reaches a clear consistency and then you can go ahead and pour it on from there all right guys so you all know i share space with my husband with his music studio so he's playing music so i'm unable to talk in person but i am showing you here that the first coat of the epoxy has done is done and it has been spinning for like eight to nine hours and so now i just use my silhouette cameo i'll put the font down below and i've already um cut my name out in my desired size and stuff and i'm gonna place that over the pink and the white area so this is just after one epoxy coat so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use my hands to apply this vinyl because it's still a tiny bit tacky and i don't want to mess up so i'm taking letters off one by one and apply it to the cup and then i will go back over it with another coat of the clear epoxy all right guys so here it is i'm done i'm so super excited so imagine me going 
because that's what I was doing because it was so cute. I love the black um, lettering that I decided to put on there. So I applied, like I'm telling, showing you, I applied each letter with the with my hand, and then I ended up getting some more of the heart stickles or sequin and putting placing them around the Tamika to add like a sparkle around my name because I know I love the drippings of the heart, but I wanted to add a few more of the sequins and I'm glad that I chose black um, it makes it pop super super well so it turned out cute and the font is gorgeous so anyway let's move on to the next audible step okay all right guys are you ready for the big reveal yes I am so here we go ah! <laughs> she's so cute I love it. I love it. It's it's been cured. I um I was able to well was able to I had to I the first after the first coat I don't know if I was able to record it or if it'll, it'll be up but I'll just tell you that after the first coat I let it um spin for eight hours until it was you know enough where I can touch it if I pressed it hard enough it was sticky. A little bit just a tiny bit tacky but nothing was coming off on my hands so then I applied the um, the vinyl and I couldn't decide on which color to use and then <clears throat> when I saw that the gold was too super thick I couldn't use it and then the other gold was um, just not it wasn't a material that I, it was iron on press on I couldn't do it for this cup so I had to go with the black which I'm so happy that I did it ties in my top and bottom and it just makes it pop I'm not sure if the gold would have been able to do that and then I just hand um I put this on by hand with my letters I didn't tie it on and peel it off or anything I did it one by one so I love this font I'll put this font down in the description box below um, that I cut from my silhouette cameo and this is so cute I love the from the glitter down to the glitter hearts to this beautiful white snow white sparkly and then this pink at the bottom I mean, it looks it reminds me of like this little plush coconut candy we used to eat uh, I can't think of the name of it but anyway I love this I I love this cute little coffee cup this cup was a dollar from the Dollar Tree so I am definitely gonna make quite a few more um so personalized gifts that i will be making for my family so anyway um let's get back to the giveaway for the set of glitter so if you want to be eligible to win one set of these 54 glitter jars bar by artega all you have to do and then you can make you a cute little jar don't forget to check the description box below guys for ways that you can do this without the spinner but when I tell you I was able to leave that alone overnight and let that run, it was such a joy. I don't know about coming back and forth and babysitting and all that. So it was well worth it. So anyway, check the links down below. Um, but yes, in, el in, eligible, in order to be eligible to win one set US only, again, I'm sorry, my international peeps, so, so sorry. I have been wanting to buy that little spinner so that I can make my own personal lies stuff on on stuff so jars or mugs or what have you and you know i like seeing tamika in light so it was something that i don't know why i procrastinated on for so long but i'm glad i did it so um and definitely will enjoy using it but what i want you to do in order to be eligible to win one of these sets is to like this video one be a subscriber to like this video you can share it if you like you don't have to but just at least like it and um leave a comment down below in regards to something that you've been wanting to do or try crafty related well you know what no i won't leave it crafty related i you can leave it open because you know i dabble in woodworking and hair and stuff so i'm i'm just a crafty person so i'm i won't leave it to that but just name something that you have been wanting to try it's the summertime you guys can try some of this stuff name something that's been in your cart forever or something that you just gosh dang it I just don't have the the wherewithal to press that go button what is it 
leave it down below okay so part two of this giveaway is very easy as well all you have to do is head over to Arteza's YouTube channel there's a video that they want you to watch watch that video and like it and also follow them on YouTube so they have a lot of different projects on there that you may like and be inspired by so head over there like the video that video will be in the description box and follow them on YouTube so that's it guys um, all of the rules will be listed in the description box if you guys are interested in participating i'm so excited about this glistening cut look how look at this shine it's perfect i love it i so much i so much i so much so much love it so anyway that's what you have to do uh to be eligible to win don't forget to check the links in the description box for everything that i've mentioned in this video it will be in the box it will be in the box okay it will be in the box it will be in the box i'm happy I'm happy this is this is well worth it so and I'm excited for you guys to try something new so maybe putting down out loud what you want to do will motivate you to do it whether it's something crafty related you want to try your very first pocket letter you want it to whatever I'm not gonna give away too much because then y'all start copying everybody be putting down oh yes I want to play the pocket letter oh yes I want to do the pocket letter mm-hmm be creative, be sincere, be real, and I will see y'all later. Like this video if you like it, and I'll be back with some more glitter projects, but this is the only video that will be eligible to win the prize. You can comment on the rest. I would love for you to. You can like the rest. I would love for you to, but this one is where you can win. All right, bye.